welcome to Funky Palms. I'm Kathy, and today we're making a watermelon. So we're starting with 40 wraps of the red yarn, and you want to just make sure those are nice and even around the pom pom maker. I'm using my second smallest pom pom maker. So now we are putting on three to four separate wraps of the black yarn which will make up the seeds so just make sure they are kind of spaced around and not really touching too much because you want them to come out looking like seeds and now we move on to the second layer of the red yarn and we're doing 40 wraps again so nice and even around 40 times and now we're doing three to four more of the black wraps of the yarn you can see I didn't quite measure it out properly so I cut a piece and got an extra wrap in which is all good so now we have another probably about 60 to 70 wraps of the red yarn so until it's completely full you want it to be nice and chunky so now we start on the second side which is the skin of the watermelon and we're doing 30 wraps of the green nice and spaced out all the way to the edges Although you can see I didn't quite go to the edge on that side, which is not good. Uh, and now we do 21 wraps of the black, and these ones are not all the way to the edges. So just be aware of that. This time definitely take the green to the edges, and we're going to do 40 wraps of the green. Nice and evenly around. And then back to the black, and that's going to be 21 wraps again. And again, not all the way to the edge. And now we're going back in with the green and this one is about 30 wraps because we need to leave space for the white so i'd say about 30 you might be tempted to do more but if you do more of that one you probably won't fit all the white on so then we're doing 25 wraps of the white approximately or until it's full so just make sure it's nice and chunky again and then it's time to cut so cut it nice and evenly in the middle And again, I have super chunky scissors, but if you have like the nice little pom-pom scissors, that is perfect. So I do one really tight uh, wrap and I usually face it to the front of the fruit and then I take it around to the back of the fruit, like where the skin is, and I do two uh, really tight knots to really hold it in place. And you can just fluff it out and now it's time to cut. So you want to find the center, see where I just pointed? kind of find the center area and then just especially with the watermelon start chopping kind of diagonally so it's gonna end up you can really aim to make it into like a triangle shape if you want so like three or like a pyramid even three or four like very straight edged sides um, which looks nice or you can just make it into like a cone shape which is also good for a watermelon maybe a little bit easier um, than having the straight edges. So remember to just take really small little snips so you don't cut too much because obviously you can't put it back on. See I saw that I could reshape it there a little bit and yeah this is our finished watermelon. 